one golfer before and after before on the left after on the right what we were trying to do is get a little bit more stable platform so we can have a little more dynamic use of his legs let's start uh, with the obvious uh, the feet are further apart uh, creates a much more athletic position for him notice that with his legs further apart it also looks like his shoulders are a little further apart uh, wider shoulders broader broader stance through the chest we're going to do the takeaway watch what happened here right about here you can see a much more solid position on the takeaway at the uh, at the first L position how the left leg on the on the left side is kind of collapsing on the right side it's moving into the other leg a very smooth athletic position now watch as we go to the top of the backswing and down a little bit longer backswing a little bit more arc because he's wider and you can see a lot more shoulder turn here uh, you can see more of the uh, left hip turning into the shot you can see the black of his shirt more under him here on this side on the right side now we're going to move into the impact position he's going to drop the right shoulder down towards the golf ball very nicely takes taking a little longer moving into the shot good weight transfer. you can see the dynamics and here how it's just his legs on the left side look like they're just kind of getting knock kneed a little bit nothing's really moving he hasn't really moved into the shot he's kind of flipping it on the on the right side we can see a lot more dynamic action into the shot and a much better taller stronger finish both of them do share one more flaw though and that's the chicken winging through the impact where the elbows come apart right about there uh, we need to keep those elbows intact uh, the relationship you build it set up, this triangle needs to ma be maintained throughout the entire swing. Here we have a golfer using the single plane swing made famous by Mo Norman out of Canada. By a single plane, we mean that the uh, arms extend from the shoulders to the golf ball in a single straight line. The shaft is pointing towards the lead armpit. And all I have to do to execute a swing like this is to fold my right arm on the way back and then when I hit the ball, fold my left arm on the follow through. I want to be facing the ball at impact. What's good about this swing, it doesn't require a whole lot of movement. And this golfer has uh, some real issues with the right side in getting it through to the left side. So this is a good swing for him. Let's watch the execution. Watch the folding of the right arm. See how it just folds. What we want it to do is we want it to fold with the elbow staying more down. It's kind of behind him a little bit. The elbow at this point now should be down not flying up like that but that's that's something we can work on now he's going to come back and he's going to try to face the ball see how he's facing the ball everything's looking right at the ball at impact bang that ball will always go pretty straight there because it's very hard to have that club be anywhere but facing the targeted impact with that kind of a swing may not be as pretty as some swings and it may not be as far as some swings but it's probably going to be more accurate than most swings see that nice that ball's going straight down the target line. Good job. Here we have a beginner golfer with a remarkably well um, thought out setup, spine nice and straight, arms down below her chin. Uh, they could be a little lower, but as we get a little older, that's not always easy to do. Uh, I'm not saying she's old. Uh, we're going to see a pretty good takeaway here. Gonna watch the club's going to come back. Pretty good. A little bit of lifting of the heads, but not too bad. I mean, it's okay. Where she fall, fails in her golf swing is coming into the impact position. Very nice, very strong move down to the ball. Good rotation of the hands. But right here, because her right, her left foot is, I mean, right foot, I'm sorry. Right foot is still stuck to the ground. She's not able to extend down the target line. And the ball ends up being hit on the toe of the club because the club can't keep moving out away from her because the right heel hasn't moved out towards the golf ball. So we're going to get her to transfer her weight more to the front foot by getting onto her toe of the right foot. Okay, let's go ahead and watch this swing in slow motion and see what happens. Pretty smooth takeaway, a little bit collapsing right there. See right here we've created what we call uh, a reverse C here. Uh, we want that to be a straight line, not a bent line. Let's get rid of that. So she's shifted her weight to the outside of the back foot on this move. Now she's going to try to get to the front side, and all she's doing is staying tilted to the front side, not really being able to rotate into the front side. And what will happen is instead of rotating through to the front side, she just sort of ends up um, kind of collapsed. What we'd like to see at this point is from her ankle straight up, 
is where the hip should be, the shoulder should be, and the right ear should be. So there's not a lot of momentum going forward through impact. Okay, I drew a line straight down from her head. That's the center part of her swing. You can see that the uh, ball is probably a little bit behind the head, the way she's leaning. But picture that the head is the pivot around which you swing. And if we watch this swing in slow motion, we'll notice that it's really hard for the club to pivot around that head when the head is moving almost as much as the club is moving. In some cases, more. Uh, so we've got to get her to settle down a little bit to create a nice pendulum motion instead of this swaying motion. That'll make it easier for her to swing the golf club.